What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shields Wi-Fi battle. We got a brand new team, as you guys saw in the team builder. Be sure you guys check that team builder out if you guys haven't already. Link is going to be in the description down below. So, um, with everything being said and done, we are facing off against Marnie, bringing a really interesting team. Eternatus, uh, Zycian, pretty scary Pokemon, of course. He reached out to me on my Instagram. My Instagram is going to be in the description down below also. So if you guys ever want to battle me, reach out to me and follow me and message me that you want to battle. Make sure you guys follow me because otherwise I won't be able to see the message. So I'm not a big fan of bringing uh, Ubers to battle, to be honest. He did say to watch out for Bob. I assume Bob is going to be the Eternatus. Either that or the uh, Zamazenta. So, looking at his team, pretty threatening. I feel like I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start with Lantern here and to just hit off a Volt Switch. We are Assault Vested Lantern. Maybe I should do Darmanton. I'm gonna go with Lantern just to see what's going on here, because Assault Vest is good against the Eternatus, and it's also good against the Zoroark in case that's his first League Pokemon. We will see how this battle treats us and how this battle goes for us. So we're with a brand new team, Rose Tower, which I really don't remember what Rose Tower was, uh, or this theme was in, in, in uh, the Pokemon game. I, I forgot. So Shed Ninja comes out. This is a bug and a ghost type. So there really nothing's going to affect this thing. So I have no choice but to switch out. I'm going to go into Darmanitan here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go into Darmanitan and possibly Flare Blitz. Man, I was not prepared for a Shedinja. Uh, Executor would be pretty good too, and so would Skarmory. So I'm going to go for a Skarmory here. I'm just going to do a hard switch out here. I was debating on running a Rocky Helmet on the Skarmory, but I don't think it's going to quite work out for us. So he's going to go for a Night Slash. We should be able to take this quite perfectly fine. It's a crit. It's a critical hit. Leftovers comes in. Let me know before we go any further in this Wi-Fi battle who the MVP I need to adjust my uh, Who the MVP the most valuable Pokemon of this battle is going to be I, I just can't see from where I'm standing uh, Everything here, so I'm gonna go ahead and stealth rock here He withdraws which is actually perfectly fine because with the stealth rock shit is just gonna go down He's gonna bring the Internatus Which is actually very scary very scary. I, I actually, one of my buddies, Falling, who I battled not too long ago, used the Eternatus on me, and it, it's, it did some damage. All right, so now my question is what this thing is going to want to do to me. I really want to stealth. Uh, did I already stealth rock? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. It's hard for me to see because my mic is in the way. I need to readjust it. I think the next best play is to spikes get a lot of damage going for his team here so he's gonna oh flamethrower i was not expecting that i'm probably gonna go oh i don't go down it's close it's very close i think skarmory is still a valuable pokemon to us so we're gonna we're gonna switch out we're gonna need to switch out here and to who that is going to be lantern go lantern we threaten it with an ice beam if you guys watch the team builder, we're not max special attack. We're max HP and special defense and then throw the rest into the attack. We're assault vest, so we should be able to take this at least a little bit. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to ice beam here. Try to threaten this thing a little bit. Once he sees the ice beam and depending on much damage it does, he's probably going to want to switch out. He's probably going to want to switch out. And that, that would be the best play for him. Yeah, withdrawals. Good job. Shedinja, which is going to go down because of the Stealth Rocks. Beautiful. That's a free KO. That's why Shedinja is a very tricky Pokemon to use. You need to make sure you have a Rapid Spinner on that team if you're going to be running a Shedinja. I've been considering using Shedinja, but it's just a really, really tricky Pokemon. It's a really tricky Pokemon. So whatever comes in next is going to take damage to the Stealth Rock, and it's going to take damage to the... Oh, Zero Aura. Awesome. This actually threatens. Uh, I have Bolt Absorber, don't I? I'm pretty sure I have Bolt Absorb. If I don't, um, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. I just need to double check. Oh, there it is, Bolt Absorb. Okay, so I'm not I'm not as afraid of this thing as I thought I would be. So I'm gonna Scald here. You can go for a Plasma Fist if you want. I'm Bolt Absorb. Beautiful. This is why we run Bolt Absorb on Lantern, boys. 
Beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the Scald, and please, Lantern, please burn this thing, because this thing threatens us. No burn. Probably gonna want to hit us with something else. What does it threaten us with? Um, I really just want to stay in with Lantern. Probably not the optimal play, but we're gonna do it anyways. Plasma Fist. Why? <laughs> I'm not gonna switch out. I'm staying in with Lantern here. Another Scald. Can we get a burn on the, on the Zero Aura? Spark the Zero Aura. Burn. No burn. Uh, still not gonna... Uh, probably a Volt Switch. Should I... No, I'm gonna keep Scalding here. I'm, I'm not afraid of the Zero Aura. Blaze Kick. We take that like a champ. Lantern. I love this Lantern. Lantern's a very underlooked Pokemon, to be honest. It's a very good Pokemon. Beautiful. Lantern knocking out the Zero, the zero Aura. You guys don't see that every day. I bet you guys have never seen that. I mean, I love Lantern. I love Lantern. It's such a beautiful Pokemon. Enternatus comes out again, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm Assault Vested, so I'm not really afraid of this thing. He said to watch out for Bob. I wonder who Bob is. I'm kind of wondering who Bob is. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit him with the Nice Beam. Night Days. This is the Zero Aura then. We avoid! Oh my goodness, Lantern. You're putting in the work, boy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, we're gonna we're gonna discharge here. We're not afraid of the Zero Aura, or not. This isn't even this is a Zoro arc. What am I talking about? We take it like a champ. Discharge. This is why we run Assault Vest with Max. Uh... Oh my goodness! Lantern does more damage than I thought it would. To be honest, Assault Vest Lantern. You can never go wrong. He played me good. Who's Bob? I'm curious to who. Bob... It's probably these Amaz these Amazenta. If Zamazenta comes out next, that's a problem. So Valley comes out. Okay. Um, we don't let this thing go down quite yet. What I'm gonna do is Volt Switch. I think. I think we Volt Switch here. Lantern has been putting in some work. Multi attack. We're probably gonna go down. We resist the still typing. We don't resist the still typing. I lied. Volt Switch. Get a little bit of uh, momentum going for us. Momentum, mom. All right, go to Skarmory. Hopefully, we live in attack here and then go for a roost. We're gonna roost here if we live. Assuming we live, it's kind of crucial that we live. I still have the Darmanitan in the back, and Darmanitan threatens a lot of his Pokemon. Roost. I said I was gonna roost. I almost spiked. I almost spiked. Iron Head. We live that. We should live that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, we flinched. <laughs> That wasn't as beautiful as I thought it was gonna be Okay, so we're back where we were uh, HP wise Roost come on. I Love my team right now. X is there. We take that That did nothing. Oh am, am I getting under your skin? What's going on here? Been recording for eight minutes. This is a, a little bit of a quicker battle All right, so now that we're almost at full health, I think it's time to set up another layer of spikes we really want to get a lot of damage on the Zamazenta, given the how much uh, how much defense it has. So it's going to take two layers of spikes, assuming he doesn't switch out here. And it's going to take out... Uh, well, he's not going to take it out, but he's going to take some Stealth Rock damage also. x are not going to do anything. Beautiful. Spikes. And I think it's worth going for a third layer of spikes, because now his team is going to suffer. I love this team to be honest. I love the fact that Skarmory was released. Skarmory is a really good Pokemon. Alright, spikes one more time. And that's gonna threaten a lot of his team. It's gonna threaten all of his team, to be honest. Zamazenta? Eternatus. I'm okay with that. You're running flamethrower, so I, I learned that pretty hard, to be honest. Three layers of spikes. Well, this is two layers of spikes right here. I'm gonna go for a third layer right here. Spikes again. All right, now his switches are limited. His switches are very limited. I think it's time we let Lantern go down, though. Lantern put in the work, so... Sorry, Lantern, it's time to sack you off. I'm so sorry, Lantern. This is not how I wanted it. I promise. So Lantern is gonna come out. I don't think we're even gonna have to Dynamax. Flamethrower. We should be able to tank that. Easily. Beautiful. I love you, Lantern. I love you. I wish I could give Lantern a hug. 
Go for a Dragon Pulse. That's going to knock us out. Imagine we lived. I always say that at least once a video. Every video I always say, imagine we lived. All right. It's time for the executor here. I've never used an executor before, let alone a lowland executor. So I'm pretty excited to use this thing. We're going to go ahead and hit this thing with a extra sensory. I was going to say Draco, but I don't want to go minus two right away. Eterna Beam. That will probably knock us out, to be honest. But that gives us a free turn. It's going to give us a free turn. And that's exactly what we need. Wow! Obliterated! Executor just got blown back. I keep looking at the camera because I don't want anything to lag here. Okay, everything's pretty good. All right, so we can't go Azumarill here. Uh, we do get the free turn, so I'm gonna go for the the Darmanitan. We're Choice Scarfed. Flare Blitz is probably gonna be the move because he has the Astronautis. No, Flare Blitz isn't gonna knock this thing out, so we have to Earthquake here. I almost, almost Flare Blitzed. We're gonna go Earthquake here. Doesn't quite knock it out, but we're Choice Scarfed, which means we're gonna outspeed it this next turn, and it's gonna go down. Eternatus is a is a Pokemon man. It's a Pokemon. Obviously it's a Pokemon, but it's it's a it's a Pokemon. Alright, so this thing goes down. Exactly what we wanted. Now his smart play. Well he he goes down to Earthquake with Zamazenta and the Sil Valley. I think Flare Blitz is gonna hit way harder than the Earthquake on the Zamazenta, so that's probably what we're gonna need to do. Is hit Zamazenta. Oh dot okay, here's here comes the dogger. Dogger the Zamazenta is gonna take a lot of damage from the spikes. Dauntless Shield. That's scary. That's exactly what I was afraid of, to be honest. So I think uh, we can't. We had to switch moves. Um, hmm. 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 I think we switch. I think we switch into Skarmory here. And we just let Skarmory go down. We're going to let Skarmory go down here. Probably going to hit me with the Dauntless Shield. Or it's is it on the shield uh, behemoth bash is what I'm talking about Beautiful leftovers yummy nutritious delicious leftovers Um, I think Skarmory is still the plate Brave bird Why it's not very effective if we go for a brave bird. Oh, it's half fighting. I think I think it's half fighting So you're probably gonna get no, we're not invested into attack points, uh, attack investment, so we probably are not going to go down here. Take some damage. There is that. You can go for another close combat if you want. I'm going to roost. I'm going to roost. Get my health back up here. Roost. Roost, roost. Okay. Roost. Here we go. Here we go. We're, we're, we're bulky, man. Lantern? I'm really proud of Lantern. Lantern was awesome. Lantern was absolutely awesome. All right, so now we Brave Bird again. He's probably going to go for a close combat given how much damage it did. Or he probably switches out. Probably, uh, no, because if he switches out, he's going to take a lot of damage regardless. Behemoth Bash. I love this animation right here. Boom! We're still gonna tank that. Close combat was the better move, to be honest. And we Brave Bird here. It's not gonna knock out quite yet. We're not at that range yet. Oh, it's gonna knock out the next turn, more than likely. Imagine a Skarmory beating a, a Zamazenta. You guys are witnessing right here. Pay per view. Crunch. That's the best play, to be honest. Though it's not going to do a whole lot. Brave Bird. Boom. Knockout. Skarmory. It's all Skarmory and Lantern putting in the work here. All right. His last Pokemon, Silvalli, who's going to take a significant amount of damage because of the Stealth Rock and the, and the Spikes here. All right. What you... Just click the button. He's probably messaging me right now. Still Valley takes some damage from the Stealth Rock and then some damage. Ooh, that's some beautiful damage. All right, 
we're not gonna switch we're just gonna play this out brave bird by skarmory should be close to knocking out he's gonna dynamax okay i still got a toy scarf or mana 10 in the back with the uh, superpower and flare blitz I love Silvalli. I love Silvalli. Silvalli's an awesome Pokemon, to be honest. Max Fudder Sp What? We're probably gonna do a second battle, to be honest. Lowers my special attack, which doesn't matter. Brave Bird. Knocks out! That's a battle. That's a battle. Giant Silk Valley gets knocked out by a Skarmory. We take some recoil, and that is the battle. Um, we might do a second battle. I'll have to double check. Um, but I think that might be it. And that is gonna be the battle right there. We did pretty good in that battle. I'm really proud of Lantern how it performed. Skarmory with the spikes and the stealth rock came into clutch. That that was awesome. So those were big factors. It's a shame we didn't get to see the Gigantamax Rillaboom quite yet, but there's always a next battle, right? So Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the battle. Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield content. Both battles, team builders, and just videos for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And also, before you go, just drop a comment. Let me know who the MVP of that battle was. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.